Time for the market report. Prices trending up. That's absolutely right, and that's not unexpected. They have been trending down for the past few weeks. We'll get into the reasons why and more. But first, the numbers. We'll take a look at last week's biggest gains and losses. And then this month's WASD report. What did it say? And finally, a dive into the cattle situation here in Mississippi. So, markets closed last week, mostly up. This includes both livestock and row crops. Let's take a look. Last week's biggest gain, sugar, up nearly a cent, a near three and a quarter percent increase from the previous week. Last week's biggest loss, soybeans, down 22 and three quarters cents, a near one and three quarters percent decrease from the previous week. So this month's WASD report dropped last week. Biggest takeaways I've seen have to do with production and supplies trending downward all across the board. Doesn't mean we're in a shortage, but I still found it interesting. Here's what it said. U.S. wheat use and supply outlook unchanged from last month. Projected season average farm price, $7.50 per bushel. Global wheat supply is down 7.2 million tons. Production lowered for Australia, Canada, Argentina, and the EU. Consumption unchanged. Ending stocks down 7 million tons. U.S. corn beginning stocks, 5 million bushels lower. Production up 15.1 billion bushels. Ending stocks up 19 million bushels. Season average farm price, $4.90 per bushel. Global corn production mostly unchanged, ending stocks up 2.9 million tons. U.S. rice supplies up, production forecast up 17.3 million hundredweight, average yield up 52 pounds. Exports projected 85 million hundredweight higher. Season average farm price $16.80 per hundredweight. Global rice supplies down 4.4 million tons. Consumption down 0.2 million tons. Trade also down 0.8 million tons. Ending stocks down 4.2 million tons. U.S. soybean production down 59 million bushels, yield down 0.8 bushels from last month, crush down 10 million bushels, and exports also down 25 million bushels. Season average farm price, $12.90 per bushel. Global soybean crush down 1.8 million tons, exports also down 0.4 million tons, ending stocks down 0.2 million tons. U.S. red meat and poultry production down, egg production also down. U.S. milk production also down as well. Cheese, butter, and whey price forecast raised. Non-fat dry milk prices forecast lower. U.S. cotton beginning stocks up 550,000 bales. Production lowered 860,000 bales. Consumption unchanged, but exports down 200,000 bales. Season average farm price 80 cents per pound. Global cotton production 1.7 million bales lower. Trade 600,000 bales lower. And ending stocks 1.6 million bales lower. Now we take a look at the cattle situation here in Mississippi. A bit of a microcosm of what's happening all over the U.S. Ongoing drought nationally, making it difficult for ranchers to keep their herds. Not enough hay. I spoke with Mississippi rancher Ted Parker and Mississippi State Extension Professor Rocky Lemus to get the details. Hay prices are extremely high because there's a lack of hay in South Mississippi because of the drought and also to make it worse we're hauling a lot of hay to the west the south Texas and all where they're in the middle of a big drought as well there's just a huge shortage of hay this year hay prices are plenty high so people are just selling out because they've got just a good time to get out i guess got a good reason to get out don't not gonna have the feed carry them through the winter and don't want to spend a lot of money to buy the things you can't the winter. And, and the hay is just absolutely not there. You know, they'll buy back next spring or summer, buy some back. But a lot of the guys that are selling out will never, that land will never have cattle again, is my belief. Hay inventories are probably, I'll say, uh, 40% this year compared to other years. Uh, mainly because the drought is, is being largely, largely affected South Mississippi. Uh, anything from South I-20, I've been in severe droughts for most of the summer, so uh, hay production have really declined to maybe one cut of hay instead of three or four cut of hay. So that's going to have a huge impact on our cattle production, one, because producers are going to have to try to find hay in large quantities to, uh, to maintain those animals. And another thing is that because we're still in a drought situation that's also impacting early planting of annual ryegrass in most of the southern U.S., especially South Mississippi, where our 
stock and cattle operations are uh, the largest. But with this drought that we see in Mississippi happening in this this, uh, this summer, actually have made some farmers rethink about their business. And with the cattle prices being the, the way they are right now, they're taking advantage to make sure that they liquidate the herd easier than waiting later on. Uh, I think this is going to have a huge impact on the industry for next year. As we look at cattle inventories and the need of beef production that we're going we're gonna to need for, for maintain uh, the consumers, I think we're going to see those prices of beef going up a little bit higher next year than we will have in past years. And that's it for a deeper look into the markets. According to the WASDE report, looks like commodities mostly down across the board. Time will tell us what that looks like.